Hi, I'm James Murphy, and this is three records that changed my life. Well, I didn't do the first, I mean, <clears> the <throat> first one that came to my mind was actually Gang of Four Entertainment, which I'll stick with. Um, <clears throat> the band Gang of Four made their first full album, it's called Entertainment. It was a very weird sounding record at the time. It was very, very dead. And the guitars are really spastic and sort of uh, scratchy. And uh, I kind of loved the way the drums sound. They sound really natural and simple and like in a, in a, just a small room. A lot of records were trying to get very big, impressive, like In the Air Tonight, uh, like kind of God drums. And this was this really thumping, simple cardboard box sounding drum set. And it's something that I still gravitate towards. Uh, I like it when I hear it in other types of, when other recordings, I like that sound. I probably heard it um, at swim practice. There's a guy named Arthur Owens, who was a swimmer. He was two years older than me. And uh, he's a really good swimmer, and he was a drummer. And he was one of the people who played me music. I, just, no, I don't think it needs an angle at all. I think you just listen. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a really funny combination of sort of hyper kinetic energy and restraint. It's very restrained in certain ways. It, I never, I never didn't like it. And the next, uh, the next record that you. Yeah, I was gonna say um, so many records. Uh, I was gonna say the first Suicide album, uh, Suicide by Suicide. I mean, it's an incredibly beautiful record. And it has like one of the best love songs, like one of the most amazing love songs of all time called Cherie. Martin Rev playing keyboards with a drum machine and Alan Vega singing with like a Elvis Presley slap back on his voice. That's the whole, that's all they have. I think if you play it for someone right now, it still sounds like nothing you've ever heard. I, you'd have to hear it, nothing sounds like it. It's a really simple way of making music. It's like these really, some songs like, uh, are just two notes. Just that with a little, with a super simple, haunting sounding. Really, it was in the 90s, going on tour with Six Finger Satellite, this band I used to run sound for. And listening to Suicide in the Van was just what we did all the time. That was the main, like, driving and, and doing, listening to Suicide was sort of the, the thing. It's my favorite trick, just make a slightly off sound and hide the fact that you're not clapping. The third record is uh, Ege Bamiyasi by Can. Of the four musicians that made up the Can, it's only Ehrman Schmidt, the keyboard player, is left. Ege Bamiyasi is, uh, it's like where something, where they're all trying to hide almost. The drummer's never changing, the keyboard player, Ehrman er Schmidt's just like barely, like, doing these quiet, like everyone's trying to be as unegotistical as possible. You wouldn't feel like they're old. You wouldn't feel like, uh, oh, that's from that time. It's not like, I mean, if you put on like the Beatles or the Rolling Stones or like Jefferson Airplane or, the, or like the Who, you're like, oh, that's, this, that's a time. A lot of this music doesn't really have any relation to time. Uh, it, it, you could be at a cool bar right now and someone could put one of those on and if you've never heard it before, you'd be like, this is, some new thing I'd like to find out about. <laughs>